Hi guys today once again I am going to review on reality TV show Temptation Island. In this show couples travel to a tropical paradise where they are forced to decide if they're ready to commit to one another for the rest of their lives. The idea seems fairly well, throw single girls to an engaged man and look what's happening. But please don't call it, prove how strong your love is. It is just destined to fail. It is just in the nature of people especially when girls throw themselves half naked and willingly onto guys. Same goes for the women, talking about their relationship with single guys who act as if they understand, listen closely, pour them more wine and giving them a friendly shoulder massage. I mean the director of the show went so far to even invite striptease dancer as the singles. This is just freshly made drama, nevertheless is quite some entertaining drama. But really, no one in their right mind would choose this way to prove the endless love. If you like my review please subscribe my YouTube channel for more updates. Thanks you. First, I love reality TV with some brain, can't stand, real housewives, but seen 30 seasons of, Survivor. Unlike Love Island, Temptation Island actually has brain. Whoever casts this show as the silent hero, these aren't a bunch of vacuous losers just trying to get followers on social media. I'm sure some are, but, for the most part, these are real people with real relationships being, tempted, by people that are at least real enough. I think there's a big spectrum of quality on the temptation side, which is exactly how it should be. Also unlike Love Island, there's no immediate incentive for the people to lie in their solo camera time. Love Island's viewers vote, so the people are obviously just feigning whatever they think the viewers want to hear to stay on the island. It's annoyingly fake. The host. To Love Island's credit, the guy narrating is actually funny, which is extremely rare for network TV, but his host, Mark Wahlberg, no, not the one and only pimp daddy Marky Mark, is exceptional. Total pro, he knows exactly when, and how, to interject. Adds class to a show that could easily go in the direction of some brainless Jerry Springer trash. The producers manage to keep the show respectable, which is important for attracting the quality people I'm only interested in watching. The other ways my friend says and give review about this show. She said, this is a step too far, as it literally ruins people's lives in front of our eyes. The premise of the show is flawed. Irrespective of how many times the host tries to reinforce, justify the nature of the show, does not change the fact that it is designed to break couples up. Seeing one short segment of a conversation, event involving your other half, with no context provided, is never going to end well. Which is then debriefed in a negative way by Mark, and then the member of the opposite sex, whose sole purpose is to break all the couples up. I hope the show provides therapy for the contestants afterwards, as I don't see this show ending well long term. All it takes is one scandal. Not a bad show but definitely not a great show provides a good amount of entertainment for 45 minutes. The characters can get annoying, downright stupid. All things considered if you're into drama shows like this, then you will enjoy it. Thanks for watching take care.